welcome to our March Sew Fun Club. This month, we've got lots of things featured for you. We have brought in 10 special items from the Gypsy Quilter. And also, this month is sponsored by Janome. And we have a brand new machine, the Continental M7 Quilters Collection Series. And George is going to come and share a little bit about this machine in just a bit. But I want you to know that I am a Janome enthusiast. And these machines have quality that you can trust as well as reliability. We have a very special announcement as well. Because we're sponsored by Janome, we now can ship these machines nationwide. So all of you can partake in this amazing machine. And I'm going to give it over to George now, and he's going to show all of the many features. Thanks, Michelle. You know, I've always felt Janome is one of the finest sewing and quilting machines. And the Continental M7 is, in my opinion, the ultimate in sewing and quilting. But now with the Continental M7 Quilters Collector Series, I can ship it to you nationwide. This machine starts with the most durable casting. It's all metal, so you, you can hear that. That's a metal casting throughout the whole machine. The actual, the actual surface is painted. And so that's like machines used to all be made. And that combined with a, a brushless DC motor, this machine is the fastest available in its class. Over 1300 stitches per minute when it sews. But also the power. This machine can go through the thickest materials like you see here with this leather belt. Okay, now here's a secret. I'm only using a size 8012 universal needle. I would recommend a, a leather needle. But you see the power so consistent so it can go through this without any hesitation. Now, it's large opening, 13.7 inches to the right of the needle. And I combine that with this uh, sewing table that comes with it. We have plenty of room to work with even the largest quilts, especially when you're free motion, they, they're bulky. And so you, you can really work with it and see the beautiful lighting that's on the bed of this machine. The screen is so intuitive, so I can just browse through the various stitches, over 400 built-in stitches, and I can even select things, and when I adjust them, it shows me real-time the adjustments on the screen. I can take many of my stitches and do automatic mitered corners. I can select the angle, the size, and it's amazing how you can create these beautiful uh, motifs. But let's get back to the how this sews, okay? So the, the most important part about a sewing machine, besides the motor we talked about, is also the feed system. Now, this machine has a dual feed. That means it feeds on the bottom and the top. But what's unique about this, the top feeding is controlled by a motor. So that means that you see this here, this mechanism that's moving up and down, that is the feed system, but I have not attached an actual shoe on it. And I have very a wide variety of different accessory feet or shoes to put on it. The one I like using the most is this extra large one, and this gives you more front feeding than any other machine. So when I'm working with like multiple layers of, you see here, denim, or let's say vinyl. This vinyl is hard to sew. This machine has no problem. And of course, for quilting, it, it's quite amazing. So with this right here, I can even take the most difficult of fabrics. In fact, see that, that because the top feed is controlled by a motor, I can speed it up on the screen. I can make it go faster. So when you see here, I actually have this fake fur that's so thick that any other machine, even with the top feed, it wouldn't sew. This machine has no problem because of that precision feeding. In fact, they call it AccuFeed Flex, I have complete control. Now, you have different types of feed systems, or shoes as I called it. I can change a plate, first of all, by just uh, pressing the icon on the screen. I can change to a high performance plate, but also the high performance feed system puts the needle all the way to the left side and gives it a single hole and single uh, uh, feed system so that I can work with the most difficult fabrics. Here you see this Lycra with sequins. Okay, now this is very tough to work with. And so this has no problem sewing with this. So for, there's, there's virtually no fabric this machine can't sew well. Now, also, this machine, as I mentioned, has 400 built-in beautiful stitches. But many machines, they have so many things to do on them, you don't know what, where to start. So that's where this machine has several tools to help you. Number one, I have what's called the AccuSpark app. What that means is I can take any uh, a stitch function, and you see that the, the QR code, I can zap it with my phone, and it goes right to that part of the instructions. And so what that means is that I have real-time 
uh, help or instructions on whatever I do, whether it's uh, a sewing or a decorative stitch or in this case, a ruffler. I, it tells me about how to set up the ruffler. But let's think about, again, how this machine has so many amazing features and stitches, but I want to make it simple. So that's why they have what's called the sewing application pages. What this means is it funnels down the information to give you exactly what you need based on how you're going to apply it. Like in this case, I want to do piecing. So I select the quilting application function. I select piecing. It sets up a perfect a quarter inch with the foot, uh, with, he has, uh, the quarter inch foot is shown here, and it's a scant quarter inch. Now I can make that adjustment how I want, but it also adjusts the tension, the stitch length, and everything. And when I sew the first uh, uh, piece, it actually stops and asks me if I want the same size. And what that does for me, it memorizes it, so every time it ends at the end of that piece and raises the foot so I can put the next one in perfectly. See how easy that is? Now let's take applique. A blanket stitch is a very popular applique, and what that stitch does, it goes two forward and one back, two forward and one back. The problem is, when I turn a corner, sometimes it goes reverse when I don't want to. With this application, I can actually tell it at the time I turn the corner, so that way it will only do the forward motion after I turn the corner, so my corners are always perfect. It gives you so many other applications like ruler work. Uh, for, so I can do free motion work with rulers and it sets everything up using the ruler work foot. It, it is so easy. It even has an application on it which gives you, it's called a block advisor, it gives you all the information for making the most common blocks based on the size you select, it tells you what pieces to cut. Everything is so easy. So this machine, as you see, is so incredible. And I just scratched the surface of the many features. But what's exciting is the special deal I can offer you. This machine has a regular retail price of $7,999. And you know what? It's worth it for the precision of this machine. It's on sale for $59.99. We have interest-free payments for under $167 a month. Now, if you don't need to finance, give us a call at 1-800-865-9664 and discover a special bonus we have if you don't finance. But also, we have a bonus that's available with this that's available for a limited time. So let me go over that special bonus. Now, in addition to all the incredible accessories that are included with this machine. In fact, Janome gives a lot of value. All kinds of accessories are included with this machine. But also, for a limited time, I'm including a special bonus. Included with this bonus, let's start with 24 spools of beautiful iris thread. This is a cotton thread that's refined, so it gives you beautiful th uh, uh, stitch results for quilting and applique. Also included is this full color workbook. Now, the instruction manual is good, but instruction manuals are written by engineers. So I, what I like about a workbook, they're written by educators. So this has step-by-step -step instructions so that it goes through everything you can think of. Uh, it gives you a, a page to go through it. It gives you the settings, even gives you a sample of what it should look like. So if you go through this entire book, this book would basically teach you how to use it. So I love this workbook that's included. Also is included, is the six-piece ruler work set. This ruler work uh, uh, rulers are designed specifically for the Janome to give you great results. Now remember, this machine has built-in ruler work, and so I can use these and I can create some beautiful free motion quilting. But what I like about ruler work is that it guides you in moving it. So this is a six-piece set that's designed specifically for Janome. Now they also give you some incredible accessories. Now there's three different accessories that are geared toward the Accu Feed that wide one. So this one right here is a, a piecing foot. So sometimes you need a quarter inch, but you need that better feeding system. So we can work with this, this foot for that here. And again, uh, this one right here is a wide straight stitch play, uh, foot. So this foot, uh, in combined with the AccuFeed Flex, would be great for uh, very difficult fabric, thick fabric, slippery fabric. This is something that's normally extra. We also have an open toe foot. The open toe foot does give you a better view, but also I have, this would be great for stitching the ditch or applique where I want to do some decorative stitches. And then finally, the Ultra Glide plate 
and foot. So again, I press the button on the screen and it raises the plate. I can change this plate. This is coated with a, a, a non-stick material, both the, the plate and the foot. So it gives you better results for working with slippery or, or, or sticky fabric, which is difficult. Also is included our three packs of needles. So this total package value is, is actually over $509 and that's included free with the purchase of the Continental M7 Quilters Collector Series, but this is for a limited time. Once we run out of these, we cannot get any more. So give us a call at 1-800-865-9664 or click on the link for more information. Now here's Michelle with this month's So Fun Club. So I have the pleasure of showing you these 10 items that we brought in from the Gypsy Quilter. And I've got them all laid out here and I wanna show you why I think these items are a useful tool for any sewer, either if you're a quilter, machine embroiderer, or you do handwork, these items are gonna to be to your benefit. Now, Gypsy Quilter has been one of my favorite um, Notion tool um, go-tos for a long time. And you may already have one or two of these items in your arsenal. But to me, these were really important to bring in and show you some of the new items that we have. And the first one that I want to talk about is the Wooly Bun. Now, the Wooly Bun is a nice pin cushion. It's made of 100% felted wool. It's got these wonderful colors here. We've got pinks and blues, um, a little bit of purple. Each one of these is completely unique. So if you buy one and your friend gets one, they're gonna be slightly different because of the felted wool process. Now, I feel that these woolly buns, they're perfect match, you know, peanut butter has jelly and the woolly bun has the Gypsy Quilter Cool Pins. Now these cool pins have many great usages. Not only are they super sharp, and that's really important. Um, I can't tell you how many times I've bought a pin and when I go to use it, it's dull and that makes a bigger hole in your fabric, which is not what we want for sewing, um, especially quilting, but they're very sharp on the end. They're made of a nice metal, but the best part about these pins is their ergonomic grip. So they're easy to pick up. When you are um, going to pick up something, they're easy to grab. It's not just one little ball point at the end. It's got an ergo ergonomic, once again, grip on these. Now, they also are heat resistant to 350 degrees. So how many of you have been ironing and somehow your iron gets close to that pinhead and it melts, you won't have the problem with that because these cool pins, once again, are heat resistant up to 350 degrees. And I think that's really cool. So the cool pins and the woolly bun are a great companion for any showing studio. The next thing that I want to talk about are our heat resistant thimbles. Now, if you do applique or if you do other crafting items, say you use a heat tool gun, how many of you have used your hot glue gun and you've got hot glue on you? This will protect your fingers. They are once again heat resistant. They come in a set, so you're gonna get all three sizes in the set. And once again, they're a perfect companion if you're doing applique with the cool pins because these are heat resistant and these are gonna protect your fingers. No longer are you gonna get those little burns from trying to get your little iron close to what you're doing with applique or other crafting items. These heat resistant thimbles are there to protect you and to make sure that you have many years of crafting to go. So I love them. I love that you get three sizes. So if you are having multiple people help you, you're gonna get them and all three are included in the set. Once again, these are our heat resistant thimbles. Now I wanna talk a little bit about our mats. Now the first one is our wool mats. We all know how important they are and how they're a great tool if you're doing machine embroidery to get your images to the top. I use mine all the time in my sewing studio. Now I'm not promoting the mats here today. What I am promoting is a handy dandy tool to clean your mats. So this is a tool that you can take straight across and you will notice, I think of myself as a pretty clean sewer 
But it doesn't matter what type of sower you are, at some point, lint buildup, as well as threads. If you have an animal, animal hair can embed into these mats. And this handy dandy wool cleaning tool is the answer for that. So you can simply pull off all this fuzz. Look at that. Look at all the fuzz it pulled off. Once again, everyone needs this if you have one of these wool mats. And if you don't, we can take care of that too. So this is the wool cleaning tool. Now the next mat that we use all the time in our cutting studios and in our quilting studios, our sewing studios, um, is our rotary cutting mat. We all know how much the rotary cutter revolutionized the way that we do quilting and sewing as far as cutting out pieces of fabric. So if you've noticed, and on mine, mine looks like it started growing fuzz. It's almost trying to turn into, you know, the, the wool batting. They get embedded into the, the fibers that the mats are made of, and sometimes it's very difficult to clean them. Well, the Gypsy Quilter has come up with this handy dandy, heart-shaped rotary cutter mat cleaner, and it's super easy to use. You're gonna slide your hand in like so, and you're just gonna rub across your mat. You can do circular motions, and what this is going to do is it's gonna pull out those fibers. So if you see on here, Look real close, I've got all these fibers that it pulled out. And the great thing about this is this mat cleaner is gonna be in good use for a long time. If it happens to get dirty, all you have to do is wash it with warm, soapy water, a mild soap I would use, and that'll make it nice and fresh for the next time. I use mine all the time in my studio, I like to keep my mat's nice and clean. Another thing that you can do is add a little bit of moisture. People don't think about that, but we wanna protect the life of your mats um, for as long as you can because they are um, a reliable and integral part of our cutting with our rotary cutters. So protect them. Once again, get your heart-shaped mat cleaner. Now I wanna talk a little bit about other tools that I brought in. Now this is called the little gripper. And this handy dandy little tool comes off just like so. You can see it's got a suction cup here. And let me explain why I think this tool is so important for you. Um, when you're using your rotary cutter and you have a small width of a ruler, have you ever noticed how close your fingers get to that rotary blade? Well, we don't want anyone to get cut or hurt, and believe you, I've nicked my knuckle before, it's not fun. So this handy little gripper tool, simply you place on top, and you're gonna pull down that side and put it back on, and now you've got a handle and a gripper. So you can safely hold your hand away from the rotary cutter blade and you're not gonna get those little nicks or potentially cut yourself. On top of that, this is a great tool for holding and moving your rotary cutter around. So it's got multiple usages. The next item that I wanna show you is also one of the tools that I think are necessity. I'm no spring chicken, and I know that um, most of us as we age, our eyesight gets a little bad. So what I have here is a magnifying set that goes onto your rotary cutters, um, onto the ruler. And basically, one is magnified by two, and you're gonna put it over the area that you want to magnify. And I'm gonna add the second one also. This one magnifies it by one. And the advantage to this is that it allows you to see on your ruler exactly the marks that you wanna cut at. So it makes, you know, I have special reading glasses, but this allows you when it's down on your fabric to see the marks where you need to cut. And I think it's a genius idea for all of us with aging eyes. So they both magnify in different ways, but depending upon what your needs are, you may need a larger dot to see a larger area, which this encompasses two inches, or the smaller dot, which encompasses one inch. If they become unsticky, all you need to do is wash them 
in warm water with a little bit of a mild soap and it will rejuvenate the sticky suction part. They are removable. They're not made to stay on your rulers all the time. Um, so they have this handy case and once again, you get two of them in the set. The one inch and the two inch. And believe you me, they help when you're cutting something and you need to see that precise mark when you're lining up your fabrics. So once again, these are called spot on dot. And once again, two in this wonderful set. So the next item that we brought in from the Gypsy Quilter is one that's near and dear to my heart. I like to make lots of zip bags. And with that, I like to buy my zipper tape in long rolls and add my own um, zipper poles. And this wonderful little tool that we have here, the zipper jig, makes it easier. It's like having a third hand when you need to attach those zippers to the zipper tape. So I've got it set up here with one of my zipper poles, and I'm going to show you how fast, how simple, and how easy it is to use. So since I have it so that you can see, I'm putting in my zipper teeth on the reverse, and I simply put one side through, add the other side through, and pull down. Did you see that? Did you see how easy it was? Do you know how often I fight with zippers? Um, you know, I had three boys and zippers being popped happened all the time. With this product here, you can get your zippers realigned and reattached with your zipper poles with a breeze. Now it works with three millimeter, five millimeter, and it will also work with four and a half. So on any of those, you can attach your zippers in a snap and you can also make it easy where you can add two zippers on the same zipper pull. One other thing that I like to do um, is to make two different colored zipper tape with one zipper pull. And I'll show you real quick on here how I did that. You can see that I have one zipper pull that is pink, but the teeth on my zippers are blue and a taupe. So I've used three different ones to create one unique zipper. And I love that about that. And once again, using this handy dandy zipper jig is going to make attaching your zipper poles to your zippers a breeze. Now the next item that I have for you is called scrap tape. Now, if you know anything about me and if you've watched or if you've taken any of my classes, you know that I love to use my scrap fabrics. I have bins and I store them. And when this item came out from the Gypsy Quilter, I was in love and I knew that it was something that I was going to use. So this is called scrap tape. We have a two and a half inch size and we also have a five inch size. So we've got the two sizes here. It may look a little bit like toilet paper, but I promise you it is not. This is stabilizer. And what this stabilizer does is it will allow you to use your fabrics in different pieces that the stretch is not going to affect what you sew with it. It is water soluble. So it's not going to add bulk to your quilts when you're done with your quilting process. Now I've got a really fabulous demo that I'm going to show you how I put it together. But real quick, I'm going to show you how I've taken just my scrap pieces here and I've added a line of just scrap fabrics in a random fabric fashion, excuse me. And then also on my five inch one, I've done the same thing. So you can see I've got angles. I use leftover um, quilt block squares that I have laying around, but these items are gonna be so much fun. You can do it completely random. And in one of the samples that I'll show you a little bit later, you'll see that it's more of a controlled random where I use specific colors. So let me get set up. And our next step is I'm gonna show you a demo on a fabulous new machine. So I wanna show you closely how I'm doing the scrap tape. Now, once again, we have the two sizes. We have the two and a half inch and the five inch scrap tape. And what I'm gonna show you is how easy it is to make some intricate angles and to use all of your scraps that you save. Now I have 
Um, I have different ways of storing my scraps. For instance, this is leftover binding, so it's two and a half inch. And um, you can see that it still has the fold on it. And I'm gonna utilize that as well. You can use leftover quilt block pieces in this, which makes a fabulous additive. But in here, I also have just a bunch of other scraps in my bag. Some of them are leftover um, piecing that I have. And rather than tossing them in the trash can, let's make something beautiful with them. Um, and you're gonna have so much fun. I enjoy this type of sewing because um, it's a no-brainer. You don't have to worry if it's not perfect, if it's not right, because if it's not, you just sew another piece over it. And once again, the scrap tape is water soluble, so all the bulk of that is gonna go away. So I'm gonna get going and showing you how easy it is to use the scrap tape to use your scraps and make something beautiful. So I've already started, you can see that I have a piece that I've started. I simply stitch the end down and that's just a personal thing so it doesn't flop around. And I've added some intricate shapes and I'm gonna lay it out and I'm gonna sew some more for you. So you can take just a piece of your scraps, lay it across and I do like to drop my stitch length down. So I'm just gonna very easily on this machine, drop it down to 1.8. It's just the preferred, um, stitch length that I like when I'm quilting. And I'm just gonna simply drop and sew. When I get to the end of that width, I will cut, pull across. I'm gonna finger press and then I also have a finger press tool. Now if you're at home and you have an iron nearby, you can use your iron. I like using the finger press just because I can get going and I can get a long strip done in a very short period of time to where I don't have to turn and use my iron. I don't always do it this way, but it is absolutely one of the ways that I prefer to do this type of sewing. So I'm gonna grab another strip. This is just of a green piece and I'm going to just lay it across. So you can see if you just had strips of different lengths, you can just do it linear on your scrap piece so that you have just lines straight across. There's no right or wrong way about it, which is why I love it. And it's, um, it's an enjoyable sewing process because you don't have to put too much thought process. Now, oftentimes as I'm sewing, I need something a little bit longer. So if you see on here, I'm gonna add two pieces together so I'm taking two of my scraps and I'm just really quickly sewing them together so that I can have a more interesting looking piece of fabric. So I'm kind of making my own little quilt block as I go with my scraps. I'm gonna fold it open, finger press that. I have this piece down and then I'm just going to simply sew this across. Now, to make things a little bit more interesting, I'm gonna sew it at an angle like so. straight across, cut. I do like to cut away some of my bulk as I'm sewing. So you can see that this would just be extra bulk in the seams. So I'm just gonna very quickly use my scissors here. Cut away that bulk, once again, lay it flat. And then I'm going to use my pressing little tool here. And look at that, isn't that nice? So now you have an angle. Now, one of the things you can also do with this scrap tape is one of the things that I like to do, it gives it kind of a crazy quilting element where you use different types of fabric. So I have this piece of denim here and I'm gonna add the denim, denim across. And that's gonna give a different feel and look to your scrap tape. So you can see, there's no right or wrong way of doing this. It's all just fun. And the best part about it is you're using up your leftover pieces. So the same way that I did before, I'll take my denim, use my press. And because it's denim and it's a little thicker, you're gonna have to press a little harder. And then you've got that. So I'm gonna show this piece and I'm gonna go over to the five inch roll as well. So let me put this one aside. Now on the five inch roll, you'll see a little bit later that I've done two different samples with these. And I have one where I've used the two and a half inch scrap tape as a border and a sashing, 
but the five inch roll I've used as a larger sashing around a pillow. So you can keep it the full five inch size, or you can also do the five inch and cut it in different linear sizes. You could do two inches, um, you can do two, two and a half. So there's lots of more ver versatility if you get the five inch. Um, I loved it for making the border around my pillow. And because of that, you can use bigger pieces of leftover quilt blocks in the five inch piece. So let me get this one lined up. You can see when I use it, my pieces aren't always um, squared up. This is just a random piece. And because of that, let me use one of these ones and go across at an angle. And here we go. And I'm gonna cut away real quick, just that extra bulk, so it doesn't get in the way, just like so. And then I'll turn it over and use my pressing tool. And now that long piece has a really interesting angle on that. Now to use a quilt block that I have left over, let me grab um, an interesting piece of fabric here. I'm gonna sew it to this blue fabric real quick. And I have the tacking stitch set up on that piece there. I'm going to use my press press that seam and is it wide enough it's just wide enough now so let me get this lined up and I'm going to add that block to the top and sew straight down and as you can tell I'm not worried about the seams I'm not worried about where things line up the only thing I'm concerned about is making sure that it goes across on my scrap tape and it fills that five inches. So I'm going to pull that open and once again press and I think you get the idea by now. This is just a fun and interesting way to use up your scraps using this wonderful gypsy quilter scrap tape and using up some of your leftover scraps. I'll sew one more on to secure this quilt block and then we're going to get on to showing you more about this machine. Okay and let me hold it up so you can see all the pieces that I've added. Isn't that fabulous? Can you already see all the different things that you can do with scrap tape? And from Gypsy Quilter, don't forget, we have the two and a half inch size and the five inch size. So much potential with your scraps. So now I get to show you what I created with those wonderful scrap tape from the Gypsy Quilter. So the first thing I wanna show you is this adorable pillow. Now you can see that I've done the five inch strips around it, which is where that variety of having the two different sizes of scrap tape come into play. I've used just a simple embroidery in the center and look at this, it doesn't have to be completely scrappy. I call this one kind of organized scrappiness. I pulled my scrap fabrics that worked with the embroidery to make this beautiful border on my pillow. Simple adding a zipper on the back, once again, using that zipper jig, and there you have it. That's one of the things that you can make completely on a Janome machine. So the next thing I did was with the two and a half inch strips. And let me show you this quilt I made completely on my Janome machines. Now I am a Janome enthusiast. I own many of them and I absolutely believe in their technology and the quality of their machines. And you can tell that along with everything else that I've done on this quilt. Notice the two and a half inch scrap tape. This has already been laundered, so there's no crunchiness. You don't feel the bulk of the scrap tape because it went away in the wash. It just feels like a normal quilt. And once again, completely made on a Janome machine. I love it. And this will be an heirloom for our family for years to come. 
So I want to talk about our prices that we have for March So Fun Club, featuring the 10 items from the Gypsy Quilter. The first item that I want to talk about is the heat resistant thimble. Retail price on these is $4.19. And the reason these are such a good deal is because they're gonna save your fingers from being burned from any type of crafting with a heat tool. Our special SoFun Club price is only $3.29. And keep in mind, you get three in your set. The next item that I'm gonna talk about is our cool pins. Now cool pins, once again, they have a very sharp point. They have an ergonomic grip, which makes it easier to hold, and also they're very sharp. Now, the retail price on the cool pins is $10.49. Our special SoFun Club price is only $8.39. And the next item is the Wooly Bun. And you'll see that our Wooly Bun is featured here. It is actually four by two inches roughly wide. Keep in mind, each and every one of them is unique with their color pattern and they're a wonderful place for those cool pins. They're perfect like peanut butter and jelly together. Now the retail price on the Wooly Bun is $16.99, but our special SoFun Club price is only $13.59. The next item that we have here is the zipper jig. Now this zipper jig is gonna give you years of use when you add the zipper poles to your zipper tape. And keep in mind, it's good for three, four and a half, and five millimeter zippers. Retail price on the zipper jig is normally $15.99, but our So Fun Club price for you is only $11.99 for the zipper jig. The next item that I have for you is the wool cleaning tool. And once again, this thing, you may not think your wool mats are dirty, but did you see how much I pulled off with this wonderful tool? the wool cleaning tool. And that one normally is $8.99 retail, but our special SoFun Club price is only $7.19. And that brings us to our other cleaning device for our rotary cutting mats. This is the heart-shaped rotary cutting mat cleaner, and retail is normally $8.99, but our special SoFun Club price is only $7.19 keeping your mats in good shape for years to come. The next item that I have the pricing for is the Little Gripper. It just absolutely works perfectly, keeping your hands safe when you're using your rotary cutter. So the Little Gripper's retail price is $9.99, but our special SoFun Club price is only $6.69. The next item is the Spot On Dot. Now these items, once again, you get two in the case, and they are for two inches and one inch magnification on your rulers. Normal price on the Spot On Dot retail is $16.99. Our special So Fun Club price is only $13.59. Now that brings us to the favorite one that I have here, the scrap tape. Keep in mind that we have the two sizes available. We have the two and a half inch and the five inch. The two and a half inch retails for $19.99. Our special So Fun Club price is only $15.99. Now the five inch scrap tape retails for $39.99. And once again, we have a special So Fun Club price for March of only $31.99 for this scrap tape. So many usages for our scrap tape. So the featured items, don't forget to purchase our items that we have featured from the Gypsy Quilter. All you need to do is click on the link in the description or you can go to moors-so.com. Now that brings us to my favorite thing of any So Fun Club, and that's show and tell. So for show and tell, I've already kind of shown you a little bit of the items that I've made with the Gypsy Quilter, but we always have a special segment where we have a giveaway. And to be in the running for this giveaway, all you need to do is share what you've been working on, post a picture, and we want to see what you're working on. To start us off with So Fun Club, show and tell, let me share one of the quilts that I've made. So this is a pineapple quilt that I put together, bright and cheery, and keep in mind, pineapples are a symptom, a symbol of being welcomed into your home. So I've just simply added some blocks together, done some free motion, and done some very fun quilting on the pineapples themselves with straight line quilting. 
Now your items, all you need to do is post them on our website and once again, moors-so.com so that you can be in the running for winning this amazing sit-upon from the Gypsy Quilter, valued at over $30. I look forward to seeing all the items that you're sharing with us for this month. Now, it's my pleasure once again to be the host for So Fun Club. I look forward to seeing you every month. And until then, thank you for joining us and safe stitching everyone. And don't forget, moors-so.com. And visit us at our five locations in Temecula, Corona, Mission Viejo, Brea, or Huntington Beach. Thank you everyone and happy stitching. <music>